Dr. Busek, um, thank you for taking the time to answer a couple of questions on the crisis Ukraine is facing on this, um, some may say so, very sad day. After weeks of diplomatic efforts to find a peaceful solution, Russia has finally attacked Ukraine this morning or tonight. The EU has announced the most serious sanctions yet, and Nord Stream 2 has been canceled. What could these sanctions look like, and what other steps could the EU take to, to condemn and halt further um, aggressions from the Russian side? It's horrible to say, but I'm not a believer in sanctions. Uh, I have personal experiences uh, as I was uh, responsible for the Balkan affairs uh, after the downfall of Yugoslavia uh, and uh, the European Union, and I think also others, uh, we are answering the sanctions. The result of the sanctions were oligarchs and corruption. Uh, there's always a way to get, go uh, around sanctions that they are not really working. And one of the difficulties which we're still facing uh, in the Balkans or in Southeast Europe uh, is the results of the sanctions on the bad side. I think uh, that the situation economically and also politically has not yet uh, uh, improved uh, on a good direction of democratic manners and uh, working market economy is a result of these sanctions. I think uh, we are in a horrible situation, and I think uh, I'm really hesitating to say it. I think uh, we have passed by the time where these problems can be settled in a normal way. Uh, we have left uh, the area of diplomatic efforts uh, because it's refused. Obviously, it was also not uh, prepared in the right way, uh, therefore, I think there are no talks, there are only explanations. With some knowledge of history, uh, I can compare the situation uh, which was around uh, the Munich Agreement, which the uh, Third Reich, uh, which Hitler uh, made with, with the British and French and so on and so on, uh, with horrible consequences. It was a real beginning of the Second World War. And my fear is if not something is happening dramatically, I think we will enter this situation. Uh, personally, I may say, I never expected in my lifetime that we are coming close to a situation. I'm really deeply concerned, concerning the future of Europe, uh, uh, of the peace in general, globally, and so on. I see, so, but since you said that sanctions cannot work, what other actions could the EU take in this situation? I think uh, the European Union cannot take any actions because it's not a military entity. I think it is a cooperation of states, uh, sometimes uh, working very good, sometimes not really working. Uh, so far, I think we are also depending on the behavior of others. Uh, not only the United States, I, I think I don't want to believe only in the United States again, uh, because here we are uh, continuing this division of the world, which we left by the downfall of the Iron Curtain, but obviously not enough successfully. Uh, so far, I think uh, a kind of a military answer uh, is quite necessary. That will not work quite soon. I don't know uh, in which way we can enter the mind of uh, Vladimir Putin uh, to change their behavior. I'm not believing that in Russia itself, the population will be against the war in which they are involved. Uh, maybe the economic pressures in a broader sense, broader than sanctions might work. But uh, I think Putin is a type of, uh, and uh, dictators are always behaving in the same way. Uh, for dictators, economic problems are no problems. I think uh, they are uh, neglecting uh, the impact of this situation. It is a very sad comment, which I'm doing. Um, okay, I see. And speaking of the military, do you think more EU states will join the NATO or take into consideration, like maybe Sweden or Finland? 
I think uh, the time where we can discuss in which way NATO can be enlarged uh, passed by. We have an acute crisis. I think if it is true what was reported here in the morning, uh, that the war is starting uh, in the direction to destroy the, the current uh, Ukrainian government or even the Ukrainian state, I think they are passed by this. We are in another situation. Hopefully it's not true, but my impression of the reports uh, on the media was that Putin is going directly in this situation. He's obviously psychological on a point uh, where a return to former situation is obviously impossible. I think he has decided to act and to do, and you have only two possibilities. Uh, the first possibility is, uh, I think, to bow down our head and say, okay, he can do what he wants. Maybe he's taking a part of Ukraine, he's taking whole Ukraine, uh, or whatever. That's in one direction, or the other direction is uh, to enter a confrontation, which has horrible consequences, uh, because who is suffering by this? Always the citizens in the different countries. Yeah, and um, in short or long term, how do you think this will affect the EU's security architecture? Uh, to be quite open, the security architecture of the European Union is not really existing. It might exist uh, concerning those countries who entered uh, uh, NATO, but I'm also not quite sure that NATO has uh, developed or has still a system which is militarily working. Uh, I think we will depend uh, uh, on what the Americans are able to do. And uh, you might wonder, but I'm not uh, very happy that uh, Europe is again depending on the Americans. I think what we missed in the past, that has to be said quite straight, what we missed in the past is a real security architecture of the European Union. It was always discussed, 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 but it doesn't really happen. Uh, happening. Uh, I remember there was always the idea to create battle groups uh, for crisis management, but where are they? I think somebody must say, okay, uh, let's start, that they are acting, but I cannot hear anything in this direction. Um, I see. And to, if, to just to speculate very pessimistically, if Putin takes all of Ukraine and then decides to move forward. It is really pessimistic and I'm shocked by myself that yeah. it is so pessimistic uh, because uh, I think uh, being born during the Second World War and uh, I think uh, in the beginning of my life, the consequences of warfare, uh, my family had to suffer, we, I had to suffer. I was moving around, we, we left Vienna, we are living on the countryside and so on and so on. And uh, recently uh, I saw the last troops of uh, Hitler uh, passing by and then the Russians are coming and so on and so on. I never expected uh, that uh, we will have uh, to suffer this uh, again. But obviously I think uh, we are not really learning out of history. Yeah, um, so let's hope that this conflict ends more peacefully than before. And thank you for your time.